talking about travel and holidays itself, Wanderla Holidays is the one that reported their third quarter numbers. There was margin contraction this time around. The revenues grew about 9%, but footfalls grew 2.8%. Let's get in Arun Chitilapalli, who's the managing director of the company, joining in now. Arun, uh, you know, this time around, we have seen some softness in the performance. Uh, the revenues grew 9%, footfalls grew 2.8%. I remember, you know, you had a target of 5 to 10% footfall growth for the entire year. Even your average revenues, you know, ARPUs are at 1250. For the first half, the ARPUs were well above 1550 odd rupees. So, what exactly happened with regards to consumer softness? Do you think that uh, now we are looking at a steady state of growth? What exactly would that be in terms of footfalls and ARPUs? Uh, thank you uh, for having me on the show, Mangalam. Always a pleasure. Um, yes, so like you said, uh, you know, the ARPUs are a bit softer this uh, quarter. The main reason for that is because of uh, the mix has changed a little bit. Uh, if you look at last uh, uh, Q3, we had more uh, percentage of uh, uh, retail footfalls. This year, we had higher percentage of group footfalls. So whenever you have group footfalls, your ARPUs will drop, which was expected. And which is why we had said that, you know, we are not expecting uh, much, uh, 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 what you call revenue growth in terms of ARPU growth. Uh, but we've been able to do uh, better than what I thought we would because we were able to grow footfalls. Uh, if you remember last year, the Q3 was one of our record-breaking quarters. So growing on top of that is always going to be uh, challenging uh, without uh, new parks uh, add, adding on to you know give revenue. So this is uh, something uh, that uh, you know that happened. Also, I think uh, uh, for the holiday season, especially, I think we had slight uh, impact of uh, COVID scare. In Co only in the Kochi Park, so if you see, look at our Kochi Park footfalls, it had degrown a little bit. So these are the two factors uh, that contributed. But overall, we are happy with the performance. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Arun. Uh, good morning, Nigel on this side, and good to have you on the show. Well, the street will focus on numbers, right? Costs were relatively high. I look at the employee cost, I look at the other expenditure as well, did see a bit of a spike up. So what's the targeted margins? The band you can guide us? Uh, so there are a couple of reasons why the costs have gone up. One is we've been adding a lot of uh, people to our uh, to our uh, you know to our fold. Uh, in fact, we've hired almost sixty new uh, personnel to our uh, management team uh, because we are, as you know, we are expanding into new geography. Mm. So there was a need to add people to the you know to the company. So we had we did that. We had a couple of CXO level uh, hires also. We have a new. Um, sales head and we have a new uh, chief operating officer who's joined. So a couple of some of these things have uh, contributed to higher uh, uh, salary expenses. Uh, sales promotion and marketing expenses also uh, higher this quarter. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, we depended more on schools and colleges this quarter. So every time we have a group footfalls, we also pay out commissions. Uh, so those the, those costs are also higher and sales and marketing costs were also a bit higher compared to what uh, we did last last year. So these are the two factors. So what happens to margins next year? Because, you know, the first quarter of next year, you also have the Bhubaneswar Park coming in. Of course, footfalls won't ramp up immediately. So you will have increased costs. All of this with uh, the Chennai Park construction constantly underway too. Next year, what kind of margins are we looking at? Because this year, so far, in the first nine months, your margins have been around that 50% mark. EBITDA target for next year, and when does the Bhuvneshwar plant, uh, rather Bhuvneshwar Park, break even in terms of footfalls? Um, so the Bhuvneshwar Park will uh, come on stream in Q1 of next financial year. Uh, we hope uh, that it will contribute uh, decently in the first year itself and will be EBITDA positive. But having said that, our margins might contract slightly for the next couple of years, uh, we have done 50% last year, uh, which I think is a, in this record that we've done, 50 to 55%. Uh, it could be 4 or 5% lower than that, but uh, I don't think it will go down further uh, because new parks will always generate new revenue. And uh, we also make sure that our new parks are also at an EBITDA level positive uh, from year one onwards. So I think it should help. Uh, there could be a slight margin contraction, but there will also be uh, good revenue growth. All right. Uh, you know, Arun, why should only certain states have all the fun? You have been telling us in the past that you're in discussion with other states as well. I think Madhya Pradesh, Uttar yes. Pradesh, Punjab. What's the progress out there? Um, so we've been talking to Madhya Pradesh, uh, Uttar Pradesh, uh, Gujarat, Goa, etc. 
uh, I think uh, the Monte Pradesh uh, project is looking like the first one that will uh, you know see fruition. Uh, we are still in uh, discussion with the government, as you know. There's been a change of government there, so we still there are slight delays in that. But I think we should be able to announce something positive in Madhya Pradesh uh, pretty soon. Uh, after that, we hope to uh, uh, also look at uh, 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 Mohali, uh, which is uh, in Punjab. They have also been shown a lot of interest. For this park to come up in uh, in 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 Punjab, we are excited about that too. And uh, um, with Uttar Pradesh government, we are talking about doing a large uh, park in uh, the NCR region. Uh, so that also is. Uh, and in fact, I was in uh, Delhi uh, two weeks back, and they've also shown a lot of interest and promise, and uh, hope to conclude a couple of these deals in the in the coming financial year. All right, we will await uh, these deals being closed in the next uh, financial year. Arun, finally, before we leave you, you said next year EBITDA margins may contract. We still don't know the kind of revenue that you're targeting next year. If you could give us a sense of, you know, the average footfall growth that you're looking next year, largely because of a new park coming in as well and the existing parks uh, continuing to drive footfall. If you could give us a sense of what's the additional footfall you are foreseeing in FY25, additional revenue as well. Um, I can talk about footfalls. I think we are expecting again a mild uh, three to five percent footfall growth in our existing parks, which are already mature parks. Uh, the new park, we sh we hope that it will contribute between five and six lakh visitors in the first year itself, uh, with a you know roughly ARPU of around eight hundred to thousand. So that's the range that we are looking at. Uh, it could go a little higher or lower, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. But these are the kind of numbers that we are looking at, and I think uh, next year should be uh, very. Uh, it should be a good year for us because we are launching this new park, and also our uh, Chennai project also uh, will be nearing fruition uh, for FI26. So uh, it's going to be a very very busy year for us. All right, it will be a busy year. Wish you good luck for that, Arun. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. in and giving us an outlook on the next year and